Do you think Ukraine is moving in the right direction in terms of reforms? It's the first time in our history after independence when Ukraine, uh, you know, defined the direction, defined the whole concept of development of country. And I think this is the first time in our history when parliament, government, president and civil society, they have many argue, argues, but they are, have unity in the issue where we are going and what is the, our goal. The other problem is this is very slowly. And I think this is kind of time of struggling of generations. Uh, the new one who want to make everything very fast and radical and the old one who still link to those corrupt uh, style of governance and that makes problem but again and again I think the Maidan and what we had in 2013 it was our chance to change and it our, our chance to avoid the destiny of young generation in Russia and Belarusia who actually was infected by fear of government. Now, our people, they can de define their own destiny. What are the main obstacles to reforms in Ukraine? The main obstacles, I think, is lack of leadership and lack of you know, consciousness of those leaders about their place in history. I think Mr. Poroshenko and his allies, they don't get the role they could play. Or maybe they will play, I don't know. But for me, this is the biggest problem. All other things are its consequences, like corruption, like vested interest, links to old system, this, you know, trying to repress and depress all young generation, etc. This is consequence. If they would be more conscious about their historical role in the history of country, they would not do that. How can the West best help Ukraine? First, not betray Ukraine. Any deals behind of us, without us. Second is just be patient, be tolerant, but from the other side, be patient against those who are you financing. Because if you're giving money, you should control it. If you assist country, you should control who you, do you help to. Because we don't want to have the same situation we had during the presidency of Mr. Yanukovych, which was when civil society and media was frustrated how we are, can uh, ask Mr. Yanukovych to follow the rules and then we handshake with him. And the third thing is accept Ukraine as a part of civilization and not to treat them like third country, even if you see some problems now, because we should talk about future. And the future of Ukraine is young generation, and young generation is part of Europe. This is definitely. And if you would not accept them now, we can just postpone this reintegration of Europe to the European country, and Ukraine to European society. So my biggest wishes is to accept us and try to move forward together.